Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I'm here doing your uh, your nightly reading, my darlings. This reading is for the collective, so just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And thank you, Cancer, so, so much for all of your support. Um, the likes, the subscribes, comments, you guys, um, everything. Thank you so much, Cancer. I'm looking at this reading, Cancer. I feel like somebody was very fake with you, okay? Um, you're coming out as the divine feminine, all right? And I feel like spirit just kind of, just sort of plopped down everything that happened to you, okay? Um, there was someone in your past that came towards you, and honestly, Cancer, they, they weren't coming in to make anything permanent. Okay, they were, I feel like this person was coming in um, with lustful energy, okay, and they've, they were actually in a commitment, and I feel like this person lied to you about it. You know, they, they were already in a prior commitment, um, maybe they saw you as a temptation, right, they, um, and they, they could have shared, you know, they were intimate with you, right, they came in, they kind of used you. And they didn't tell you the truth. They didn't tell you that they were already like married or in a long-term commitment. I feel like this was somebody who was very materialistic. Um, they could have even judged you for materialistic, superficial reasons. They were all about money. Who had, um, who had the most money, right? They were tempted by you because they were lustful. They were passionate for you. But um, this person chose someone else. They went back, I feel, to who they were committed to before um, for financial stability, okay? They really didn't give you a chance, Cancer. This person, they knew what they were doing, though. They knew that they were coming in to take advantage of you and that they wouldn't be able to stay. And I feel like... Um, You know, they could have been having some kind of problems in the bedroom with whoever they were with at the time, but you were a turn-on for this person. They could have even been with you, Cancer, to like, I don't know, um, make them feel manly again, you know what I'm saying? But they didn't really put in the effort um, towards you at all. You know, they, they were in and out. It was in and out energy. Now this person is talking with a friend, okay? They're talking with the friend, telling them how their life has turned to crap since they left you behind. And they're really surprised. Oh, they're surprised to find out. See, they were cheated on. I feel like they've been around two snakes they were cheated on by whoever they were with, okay? Whoever they chose over you. You know, they were having, whoever this was, they were having uh, issues in the bedroom department, okay? And I feel like with you, they didn't have those issues, but with, with the person that they were with, they did. And the person that they were with um, found somebody else. Sneaking around. So now they're talking to a friend about how, yeah, I feel like, yeah, they cut off this other, this other person. Whoever they were with was a schemer, um, a cheater, okay? Whoever they were with was definitely a karmic individual. They could have been um, t telling this person secrets, especially the, f uh, the things about the bedroom situation. I think that's what they spread around about this person, this masculine. They were out there gossiping and telling um, all the intimate details of how this masculine just, um, you know, they, 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 couldn't, they couldn't play around in the bedroom, right? And now this masculine, um, yeah, see, it's ruining this person's reputation. 
I, I kind of get the sense that this is like a feel of impending doom, okay? This card here. <laughs> This is the school office. It doesn't matter what age you are. Anytime you're called into the school office, you know that there's a problem, right? It, you feel that impending dread of having to go to the school office, okay? So, yeah, I feel like this person is, um, they're dreading this information getting out. It's going to make them feel very humiliated. It's going to make them feel like a fool, and cancer, you're just you're just up here. Just I don't know if you're overseeing all of this, like watching it all happen. Um, you may actually see this possibly online. Okay, um, this karmic could post online um, all this information about this person, how they're inadequate. Okay, that's how it's going to come across as being inadequate. All right. And I feel like she's she's going to put it online for everybody to see. Because oh, this is kind of like a judgment card here. Yeah, and your person's not talking to her anymore. I feel like, um, yeah, she's toxic. Um, this, this karmic situation is at an end. Okay, it's at its end. It's making this masculine feel sick. Uh, they could be sleeping on a friend's couch this friend that they're talking to about this. So they are confiding in someone and they're probably staying at someone else's house, kind of like a hideout because this person is being publicly humiliated. She's, she's telling everybody um, about what they're like in the bedroom. And she's saying that they're completely inadequate. Okay, this is stuff they wanted to kind of hide, all right? They didn't want these secrets to, to get out. You know, this isn't, this, these are intimate details. This person doesn't want it aired all over the place. And that's what this karmic is doing. All right, so, yep, and they're, they're having a hard time with money as well. This masculine may need to move uh, to a different home, and they don't have the money to do that. Yeah, but they're definitely, broke or not, this masculine is saying goodbye to the karmic. This karmic is toxic. So, yeah, I feel like um, that karmic situation is over. You know, there's no way that this masculine is going to go back with this person, and they're feeling like a complete fool. All of the gossip, that's what this is. All of the gossip and the chit-chat and airing this person's um, intimate details out there on social media. It's making them feel publicly humiliated. They're feeling like a donkey's butt here. Okay? A big AS, right? Yep, everything is being exposed. Sun card. You could be dealing with um, a Virgo. You could be dealing, because this is like the fool card. This is a fool. It's making this person feel like a fool. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Leo. A Taurus Virgo Capricorn. All right, what else can you show me? Yeah, this person wants to come towards you. Now look at they're racing towards you. This is divine masculine energy, and you're in divine feminine energy, okay? Um, everything is being exposed, and now this masculine wants to rush in towards you and tell you the truth and be honest with you and put everything on the table. They want to tell you everything. They want to give you an apology. I feel like this is your masculine coming towards you here. And, you know, we're in this full moon energy. This full moon in Virgo, um, it's, I, I think it's the full moon in Virgo, right? Um, there's something about the way Mars and Venus kind of play off of Saturn during this full moon, okay? Um, Mars energy 
to me is masculine energy and Venus energy is feminine energy. And this is where you're going to get that communication. This is where a lot of friction is going to happen um, in karmic situations, okay? There's going to be breakups. There's going to be fighting. There's going to be shakeups, okay? And there's going to be communication. So I feel like, um, get ready, Cancer, because this person's about to come forward and they're rushing in because they're realizing here that they made a really bad choice. And I feel like they may even want you to know the situation before you see it on the Internet, because it is being put on the Internet. Um, if the karmic has any kind of social media, she's going to be cracking jokes about this person and all their intimate details on social media. Okay? Because she wants to make this person feel humiliated. She wants to turn them into a joke. Yeah, you, you could get a text message here, Cancer, from your person asking if they can come in and communicate because they are scared. They're afraid to approach. They don't know if you'll even allow communication with them. So I feel like they're going to give you a text message first to test the waters, you know, and see if you're at least open to it. This is, yeah, and this is going to, this is going to come before... The snow melts, so this is coming before spring. It's coming in fast, yeah, and this masculine is angry. They're angry because, you know what, yeah, because they're under judgment. They're angry because all of their secrets are being exposed. They're angry because now they have to rush in quickly before you see what this karmic is about to post on the Internet. They're going to try to get you back. They're angry now because they made the wrong choices. They worked on the wrong relationship. They used you to try to, I don't know, cure their passion problem. You know? I feel like they took your energy cancer and tried to take it back into this karmic relationship. And it just didn't work. It, it actually backfired. Everything backfired onto this person. And now they're under, like, public scrutiny. They're, um, they're being turned into a laughing stock, a mockery. Okay. Publicly humiliated. Yeah, and the, and the karmic is doing this. So you're going to see this on social media. I feel like you're going to be shocked. Temporary. This is something temporary, though. I feel like this will die down. Um, you know, people will forget. <laughs> that kind of thing. But for now, this person's going to be very embarrassed. Okay? Yeah, and the karmic still isn't done. She's got more plans for this person, unpredictable plans, um, coming up this summer. So, yeah, she's still, she still has plans in the works, man. She seems to be very creative. Um, yeah, she's, she's a snake. So I feel like, um, yeah, what's coming up for this person is going to shock them, Okay. If they think this public humiliation is bad. She's got more planned for them. I'm getting the sense, though, that this karmic is going to be taken out. Oh, man. She's got, she's got some really bad plans for your person coming up in the spring. I don't know why spring or summer. Sorry, summer. I don't know why summer has to do with anything. Her name could be Summer. Someone's name could be Summer. Yeah, she's just um, all, I feel like she's getting creative. She's having a good time with this. I was just going to say that. It feels like she's having a good time planning her revenge on this masculine. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's more. There's more coming up, and it's going to make your masculine very sick. She could be trying to, like, um, 
really get the dirt on this masculine, something like that. Hmm. She may be trying to get the dirt on both of you, but I feel like Cancer, you're squeaky clean. You're the greatest of all time here with the goat. That's your energy. Yeah. I feel like you're golden. This is the world card. You don't have anything to do with her either. So she's she's unable to find any kind of dirt on you, but she's looking for more to humiliate this person with or... um. She's got a bigger plan to uh, sabotage them in the summertime. I don't know what that's about. Okay. But, yeah, um, this person's secrets are being exposed. Yeah, Cancer, you're, you know what? You're going down a new path. Yeah, this is, you're breaking away from this connection. You're breaking away from this person. I feel like they do want to come in and apologize and give you all the truth, Cancer. They do want to tell you all of this before you find out about it for, through social media. But I feel like that ship has sailed. This just to me feels like you're closing out a cycle here. It's a completion. All right, give me one more for Cancer. This is making your person sick, okay? Yeah, look, all of this, look, everything's about to be exposed, Cancer. Okay, and I feel like you're going to see it too. If you see it, that may be the, uh, some, it may make you feel very disgusted. Okay, look at all this exposure. This is 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 exposure. There's a lot that's about to come out about this person. Um, I feel like you've healed enough to just kind of look at it and observe it. And like, I don't see you, I mean, it may be a bit surprising and it may disgust you, but I, you're not going to be in your emotions over it. You're going to kind of see it, observe it, make a judgment call and move on. Okay. Yeah, because you're coming out more in like Empress Emperor energy, all right? You're very grounded, very stable, but yeah, this masculine um oh, where were there it is. This was on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they're seeing they're dealing with like a crazy person. This karmic, all she wants to do is plan and plot and scheme to bring people down. That's all she's doing. You know, she's like a total villain or something, you know? Um, this is how this masculine is seeing her now. They're thinking that she may even need mental help, okay? She may have some kind of mental issue, some kind of chemical imbalance, something. And, you know, as she exposes this masculine, she's making herself look like an angel, okay? So she's putting everything on this masculine and trying to get people to feel sorry for her yeah permanent yeah this person's reputation will be ruined permanently okay and that's that's what um that's what this karmic is planning on doing she's not going to rest until their reputation and their life is ruined permanently wow Yep, and your person's walking away. So, yeah, Cancer, just be ready. You're, um, you're either going to see um, all of this being aired on social media or your person is going um, to try to, they're going to try to talk to you before you see it. So they're going to be rushing in, okay? Anyway, my darlings, listen, that's what I've got for tonight's reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, Cancer, take care of you and peace out.